Figuring local taxes in Lebanon County is a real challenge, especially if you're new to the area or from out of state, you have no idea how our taxes work. Here's my attempt at sharing that information with you. For first time home buyers, it's extremely difficult to understand the whole tax situation, but there are people who have lived here all their lives and it's tough for them too. So there's no embarrassment here, nobody's watching, you can listen and learn. So if you're buying your house, or just trying to understand the difference between millage rates, tax rates, and the different levels of government who tax you, here's the answer. First of all, there are three taxing entities, the County of Lebanon, and then there are the municipalities, like the City of Lebanon or North Lebanon Township, for example, and then there is also the school district. All three entities will set millage rates that are used to figure your taxes. And those millage rates come after they vote and that each one is independent of the other. Each one has different responsibilities. We'll start with the County of Lebanon. There are 26 municipalities and all but Cold Spring has their own governing body. Each board of elect elected officials at the beginning of the year will vote or the end of, very end of the year or the beginning of the next will let you know what your new millage rate will be. In 1922, Act 155, Article 5, Section 501, stated that the county commissioner with the, sitting the longest would be the chair of the assessment board. By virtue of this act, that means in Lebanon County, because you chose to re-elect me five times, I would be your chair of the uh, Board of Assessment and Review. What happens there is that we look at the assessed value of homes. A lot of people will come in and want to talk about their taxes, but we really don't set the taxes for the school districts and all those municipalities. But we do set the tax rate in the County of Lebanon but it is the assessed value that is applied to all of the millage rates set by the different levels of government. The last time we did a reassessment, it cost us, I believe it was in excess of $2 million. We could not afford to do that every year, especially because the County of Lebanon picks up the entire tab and pays for that reassessment. It's not a fun thing, it's not a popular thing, it's very long, and it, it gets a lot of people upset. But what happens is that each year to adjust for the rise and fall in the economy, the state will give us a multiplier around July. That multiplier in 2016 is 6%. Here's how it works. We're going to use a home for sake of argument and to keep the math pretty easy valued at $100,000 at the time of reassessment. To get the $6,000 that would come from the 6% multiplier, it's a little tricky. There's an actual uh, decimal number that you would use to take times 100,000, and that would be 0.94. So the $6,000 from the $100,000 means that on the market, fair market value of your home would be $94,000. And to be fair to all taxpayers across the entire county, that multiplier is applied to each and every parcel. We have over 50,000 parcels in Lebanon County. So let's take the $100,000 home and walk through an example of a home, a fictitious home of course, whereby the county would apply their 3.4925% millage. You simply translate that into a decimal, which would be 0 .00 three, four, nine, two, five, take it times $100,000, and you will come up with $349.25. Now let's pretend our fictitious home is in the borough of Palmyra, where their millage rate is 2.85%. Translated into a decimal is 0 .00285 times our $100,000 assessed home, and you will find that your tax rate will be $285. Then we get to the school district of Palmyra where their millage rate 
is set at 13.52. So therefore the percentage to multiply it is 0 .001352 times $100,000 equals $1,352. Now your total real estate tax in the County of Lebanon for a parcel in Palmyra Borough in the Palmyra School District would be the addition of the $349.25 from the county, the $285 from your municipality, which is Palmyra, and then $1,352 from your school district, which is Palmyra, for a total real estate tax of $1,986.25. There's much more information available on the county website, www.lebcounty.org, and to find it, you would go at the top of the page to the heading departments. If you click on that and scroll down just a little bit, it's alphabetized, you'll find assessments. Click on that, scroll down, and you will find things like an, a form that you can appeal if you feel that you are overly um, assessed on your property and it gives you the cost of what it, it happens in an appeal and um, there's other forms there as well. So I hope in some small way that this educational video has been helpful to you in understanding taxes in general throughout Pennsylvania but especially right here in Lebanon County. Thank you for your time and thank you for choosing to live here in Lebanon County.